Today we will go through the social media marketing workshop. On this workshop, we will share with you how to create attractive social media content. And I'm your marketing coach, Wing Wong. And this is my introduction about myself. I'm the founder and digital marketing coach of Happy Time. Happy Time is an award-winning learning platform with world-class trainers. We are based in Hong Kong and Happy Time is expanding overseas to Australia, UK, Taiwan and other countries. I was looking in reputable for a advertising agency, listed media companies, charities, online e-commerce platform, and other setup companies as well. I'm graduated from the University of Western Sydney and University of South Australia in Australia, with a bachelor degree in commerce and bachelor and master degree in corporate communication management. I'm currently a member of Google Ad Advisor and Hong Kong Youth Space Digital Marketing courses. This is my introduction. And quickly, I'm going through the agenda today. We are going to share with you how to set up the social media goals and what types of social media content and their comparison. Also, we are sharing the latest social media trends and tools and some of the collaboration between Facebook, Instagram and other content corrupt creators. We also share with you some examples of creative social content and last but not least overview of the social media insights. So what is social media marketing? It is actually a platform not only for use for personal sharing of information, personal work, but also we'll be able to share with other information as well. For example, we will be able to build our brand, drive traffic and also increase sales just a quick comparison between different media channels for google search it is with high search intent and it's very focused and ready to buy and uh, for youtube actually is more like entertainment platform uh, at the same time there are a lot of learning content as well it is visual driven and uh, there's a lot of kl and also expert in the field and for facebook and ig they are more of a social media network and linkedin as well uh, linkedin is more for professional and there are also affiliate network apart from uh, google and uh, meta groups they are linked towards the group and they are quite a number of uh, websites out there and you can extend your reach if you want to use affiliate network as well just a Quick comparison between Facebook and G. Uh, Facebook is more mature, predominantly is age 25 to 45. Versus for IG, it, the profile is more younger, it's age 18 to 34. And for, for LinkedIn, it's more a business network. And there are different types of IG accounts. First is the personal account, which you need permission for, for others to be able to access to their content. And the other is the business account and a creator account. For the creator account, you are actually working as a content provider or content creator, and uh, you can share your content with the others. And possibly if you got a good number of followers, you will be able to commercialize your content and work with other business partners or organization as well. For the business account, it is primary for business purpose. You can sell your products, you can sell on IG and Facebook, and you can also collaborate with others. So I share with you also the link below to how to create the IG create creator account and also how to create the IG business account. For the social media, actually there are bio, which is quite important because for the first few minutes of people's browse of your account, they will look at your profile. So in this style, we need to show your branding and your identity. And don't forget, this is SEO optimized, so people can actually search the keywords on your bio. And as a result, if you put the right keyword on your bio, and the chances is that you will be found on the Google or other search engine as well. So there are a few templates which you can share. For example, this template is what are you known for? You talk about who you are and what you are known for and something unique about you. Possibly you can show your affiliate account or business. Just for this example, this girl is called Immersion. She's an engineer to full-time rocker, and also she's a queen of the door walk. Okay. and spicy. Okay, this is one of the example. For the template B, it is more kind of like a friendly approach where you put emoji on your description. It's quite simple. People can just look at the emoji and have a bit of feel about you. In this case, Daffy, she's style interior and also she, where she's fixing B-frame carbon, she, she's probably 
some kind of work description here. She is based in New York and you can reach her through her email as well. That's template B. And then we go for template C, which is a small like uh, giving people a reason to follow. Like this girl is called Maruri and she's a broker and she is trying to inspire people to travel to different places. You focus on three C's of the travel, city, culture, and carry on. You can reach her with the contact below. So this is another way of presenting your profile. I leave you a social media bio guide here below as well. So speaking of different kind of content type here, we got post story views. I'm sure that you know them already. And just uh, some analysis on the post and story and reel. Post is something you stick on the wall. However, the organic reach is pretty low, probably less than 10%. Actually, Meta is encouraging people to use story, which have a higher reach. The good thing about story is that content is disappearing in 24 hours and you can share your daily moments with other people. And we have all sorts of content elements like text, photos, video, music. We got interactive stickers, filters, and GIF and all that where you can share frequently. And for real, it is more like a short video, 15 seconds. And you will have another different templates and trends and effects which you can use in real templates as well. well. I'm not going through the post element here, but one thing is very important is that the audience centric, which means that you identify people you are talking to or who are the target audience you are trying to attract because you would like to set up the right message and probably with the right content and also the tone and manners. So this is important that you are reaching out your audience with your own style to their to their, to their interests. So here we will talk about the social media content for the corporate where it's a little bit different where you would like to update the market on your product, on your company news, and you probably have some CSR story as well, which is about the corporate social responsibility. You will share what kind of charity work you're working on and you will share with them the education content and video and probably some live broadcast interview with KOL professional in your field. You will collaborate with other KOL and also, of course, you will share with them the, your brand story and also some social networking as well. So here we talk about how many words, you know, what kind of photos, videos and all that. I think one of the key here is about the content rights and privacy, which you need to have people's admission on your social media. You use the original photos, just bear in mind that it is professional and used appropriately. And of course, you can use link, hashtag, tag, and to reach out to more people as well. And for the video, you need to be quality. And also, you would like to have your video to be of style, be able to communicate well with your audience. So this is a Instagram growth strategy we share by Instagram. First of all, you notice that uh, reels actually is people are spending more time with and they are watching more reels and IG is encouraging to share with different formats like reels, stories, Instagram video, etc. You know. And also they encourage you to post regularly engage with your audience and connect with the audience. Choose the right hashtag and also to create your complete and effective bio in 150 words. And uh, you'll probably be able to collaborate with other creators. At the same time, you will post your content online when people are more crowded. And also if they want you to have authentic content as well. So these are the things that you probably would need to pay attention to. So I would like to also take you through some of the key points here, which is about the Instagram talk. This is actually a research done by Instagram for the generations that they are born in year 2000 and after. They are more focused on the fashion, beauty, social media, finance, wellness, celebrities, and lifestyle. For fashion and beauty, the top five sustainable fashion fashion practice more distressing. They are uh, repeating outfits to be more sustainable. And also they are wearing clothes in, in unexpected ways or DIY. These are the trend on fashion and beauty. Also a generation that is prioritizing meaningful connection in 2024. People are keeping up with their friends and family and uh, they stay on top of the trends as well. They are also liking 
people's stories, sending reels and DM as well in their social media. They are liking posts on their feed as well. So speaking about dating and friendship, after the first meeting with someone, 28% of Generation Z make the first move by exchanging Instagram handles as, as opposed to exchanging phone numbers. When asked about they value most about their friends, the leading responses was, I can tell them everything, followed by, they get me better than anyone else. So these are the things about dating and friendship. And for the lifestyle, they are constantly looking for self-improvement and development. They want to be lucky and they want to be by myself. Okay, these are the three key trends or the attitude of Gen Z. They have key priorities, stay healthy, eat healthy, explore a career path and travel. They are also pretty active on social issues as well. Speak out on the educating voting and using social media to spread their awareness. Also, Generation Z also fan with a lot of celebrity as well. So these are the survey you can probably go through in the link below. So speaking about creators, which is quite interesting because creator actually has more influence with their followers. People surveyed strongly associate their Instagram with their following influencer and celebrities. And 90% of the people are seeing something of the Instagram. They can able to make content into commerce. And also 86% of the consumers said they would purchase or try to recommend a product when a product is rated as share worth. So also you can take a look at the inside of the Instagram of your account. So you'll find information about accounts rich, accounts engaged, total number of followers, content share, content in interaction, how many play and add as well. So individually, you can see also the account rich on your reels, on your videos, how many plays they have, watch time, initial plays, average work watch time, replays, and follows as well. Okay, so we will also talk about the YouTube, which is the second largest search network. And probably you will find similar thing on TikTok as well. So what kind of video is popular? The number one spot is music video, and then followed by comedy, viral video, live stream, and then all tutorial and how to content, and then some product review. And then we will also see spot scripts, highlights, and also some influential videos and rebrocks, and also gaming video. These are the most popular content on the on YouTube. Just for your information, for the next video, we will talk about Canva, which is a DIY design tool, and also CapCut, which is a video edit tool as well. And for real templates, you, you can actually use the template with within, inside the IG. And also I will share with you on the stable diffusion and AI image generator in the coming session as well. So thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video.